You're watching Rendezvous Africa. Thank you for staying with us. Now, it's estimated that 50 million batteries are consumed in South Africa annually. 95% of these non-rechargeable throwaway batteries. This represents 2,500 tons of batteries that are disposed into landfills every year and eventually corrode and degrade, exposing harmful chemicals to the environment. Converting to rechargeable batteries will remove thousands of tons of batteries from landfills. Uniross, a rechargeable special, specialty company that manages the recycling of batteries, has collaborated with the group Pick and Pay, the retail company, to launch a battery-safe disposable and recycling program. Michael Rogers, the marketing manager of Uniross, now joins us in the studio to tell us more about this initiative. Thank you for joining us on Rendezvous Africa. Thank you. Just tell us about... Um, safety disposable batteries and the recycling thereof? Sure. Well, David, what we do is, uh, as, as you mentioned, the retail giants like uh, Pick and Pay have been kind enough to, to give us space on their, on their retail floor to set up uh, collection sites um, where we're trying to encourage consumers to, to bring in their old batteries and to deposit them into these recycle bins instead of throwing them into their, their household waste and their, their rubbish bins. Um, after which we then collect them, take them back to a facility in Johannesburg where we sort them and uh, store them until we've got sufficient quantities to ship back to, to France for recycling. Unfortunately, there's no recycling facility here in South Africa, so we have to do something, um, and it's a responsibility that we've decided needs to fall on our shoulders. Interesting. You say that there's no facility in South Africa, and yet the amount of batteries that are used in the country looks like a, a, a major opportunity for uh, empowerment and, and job opportunities. Absolutely. You know, the problem is that, as you mentioned earlier, the majority of those batteries that are consumed are on non-rechargeable batteries. And unfortunately, the, the yield when you try to recycle a non-rechargeable battery, it's not economically viable um, to recycle. So, unfortunately, that is the reason that uh, there's no recycling facility set up in, in South Africa. In fact, in most countries around the world, they don't, uh, they don't recycle uh, non-rechargeable batteries. You know, when you say the word recycling, people normally think of paper and plastics and these other things. Why recycling of batteries? Well, uh, if you can, you can imagine, if just in South Africa alone, it's estimated 50 million batteries. That, that's a lot of batteries that are going into our landfills. Batteries are made up of chemicals and other various metals. It's, it's dangerous when, when those batteries find their way to these open air landfills. They're exposed, you know, they, they corrode, they break open. And these chemicals eventually do leak out into the soil. Um, and they find their way into our groundwater. And obviously that's polluting our groundwater. And it, it has a major, major environmental uh, problems. One never thought that the battery you're using in your radio today could actually cause damage to the environment. Um, you know, when you collect these batteries, just take us through the process of how you take, use re recyclable uh, batteries and then convert them. Just take us through that process. Well, what happens is obviously the, the process is, as I explained earlier, the collection of it takes it through. We, we sort uh, the various chemistries because there are different types of batteries. Mm -hmm. and. We understand we're not trying to ask the consumer to make that decision. Um, they're not technical experts. So please just bring the batteries in and let us uh, make that decision. We sort them and uh, we decide what can be recycled, what can't be recycled. Unfortunately, the ones that can't be recycled, the best that we can do to, at this stage anyway to try and protect our uh, environment mm -hmm. is um, we send them through to, to some uh, waste management companies mm -hmm. and they block them in concrete blocks before dumping them into, into landfills. And this obviously prevents them from breaking open and leaking and spilling their, their chemicals into to the environment. Then the, uh, the ones that can be recycled are obviously sent, as I said, sent back to a recycling facility in France where they recover the, the metals, um, the precious metals and, and other chemicals that can be reused. Um, and those, uh, those recovered byproducts can be used again to manufacture new products. Now, you know, as a consumer myself, I, I go to the store and I'm looking for a battery. I don't always look for a, a rechargeable battery. I just pick up a battery or a name that I'm familiar with or a brand that I'm familiar with. How is Uniross looking at converting consumers to be aware 
about the use of recycled uh, batteries? Well, what, we, what we're trying to do is we're trying to educate consumers because I, I believe it's, it really is an educational issue. Um, everyone knows rechargeable batteries in their cell phones or in their laptops, but they don't understand, as you've just said, they don't understand that rechargeable batteries come in the same format as a, a, a normal pen light battery that you would use in a clock or a, or a TV remote. Mm -hmm. um, so we're really trying to get that, that message across in store through, through some of our uh, points of sale, um, through promotions. We try to, to get promoters in there, just trying to educate consumers as they're coming into shop, um, trying to convert them. You know, mm -hmm. if, if we can just convert one person a day, um, we'll, we'll be winning, winning the battle. Now, you've mentioned that you've uh, collaborated with the uh, a national uh, food chain, Pick and Pay. Yes. Just tell us about that association again. Just elaborate on that a little well, bit. Well, obviously, Pick and Pay, is, they've always been fantastic when it comes to, to the environmental issues and social issues. Um, and when we approached them with this, uh, this recycling initiative, they, they jumped at it and they said, absolutely, they would love to be on board. Um, and we must understand that, obviously, to, to open up their, their floor space and to give us a spot for a bin which is not generating any revenue for them, mm. it's a significant uh, advantage that, that we've got. Mm. So it really is nice. And obviously, Pick and Pay is, is represented everywhere uh, throughout South Africa. So it gives us fantastic coverage. And then um, what are the major outcomes that you're anticipating from this initiative? Well, we, ex we expect... We don't expect anything fantastic to start with, because as I said, not too many people are, are, are aware of the, the problems that the batteries cause. Um, and I think if you have a look at the other products, as you mentioned earlier, about uh, recycling paper and glass and plastic, you know, it, in South Africa it has been a very slow uptake. So we're not expecting miracles overnight, yeah. um, but I think with the, with the backing of, of some of the big retailers and their commitment and uh, their commitment to keep these, these recycle bins in permanently, mm -hmm. um, hopefully we will finally educate the consumers and we'll, we'll get them to be bringing in their old batteries. Well, as a consumer myself, you've just given me a huge education <laughs> as well. Thank you so much. That's Michael Rogers, the marketing manager of Uniross. Thank you so much for giving us Thank that you. story. Appreciate it.